What's going on guys, it's Des again, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button, also hit that bell. If you are a current subscriber, okay, thumbs up to you guys. Thank you very much for supporting this channel. If you like this video, give me that big thumbs up. And if you guys can, please comment in the comment uh, down below. So in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about the types of jobs that we do as combat engineers, whether we're regular force or we're reservists. And one of the jobs that we do is bridging. Bridging is a vital component of all in the engineer uh, trade. And uh, as combat engineers, we have to be the masters. We have to know uh, how to construct the different types of bridges that we have here. There's three types. And how to uh, ensure that the friendly forces can get to their location and carry out their duties. So this video I have here is from uh, annual exercise. It's called Spartan Bear. It's run by the regular force and it has all different elements. It has uh, elements of second combat engineer regiment, which is the regular force engineer regiment. In the, in the video, you're gonna see them uh, construct a medium girder bridge or MGB type bridge. Uh, you'll see the, uh, equi the equipment that they use, whether it's light or heavy equipment, you'll see the vehicles bringing the bridging parts to the bridge site and they're gonna be mounted on uh, pallets, you can see them offload the, the uh, bridging parts to the bridge site. So guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this video and we'll see you after. Exercise Spartan Bear does present some unique challenges, including water obstacles, but no unit is better at overcoming those obstacles than two combat engineer regiment. Okay. Well, the engineers are the experts when it comes to water obstacles. Uh, we can build rafts, we can build bridges. Uh, we're also the experts when it comes to any other type of obstacles as far as minefields or wire or uh, blocked routes, things like that. Well, in this particular site, uh, we, we had a waiting area where we established our, our troop harbour and we, we brought in the, the bridge pieces we need. Uh, we moved down to this site and we're going to build a bridge here so that we can move uh, about half of the brigade across our bridge and uh, get them down to Meaford. Dane, watch the uh, center line. Uh, the bridge is a medium girder bridge. Uh, we're going to build a double story. Uh, you can either build a single story or a double story. Uh, the double story just takes more load. And to bridge this obstacle here should take us about four and a half to five hours. Sappers on their threes, on their QL3 course, uh, there's a two to three week bridging period. They learn how to be section members on the bridge site itself and how to basically be the worker bees on the digital individual sites. On a combat engineer QL5 6A or what they call a DP2 these days, they'll learn the reconnaissance portion on how to assist a recce sergeant to do the, um, basically coming to a site, determining the right site, getting all the measurements so that the uh, record certain can make his determinations on how the bridge is constructed. On a QL6A uh, engineer section commander course, section commanders will learn how to design the bridges, how to do the reconnaissance themselves, design and to command all the various different parties on the bridge site and the bridge itself. Working throughout the night under the cover of darkness, the bridge was built and is now ready to accept convoys. Mission accomplished. For two Canadian Mechanized Brigade Group, I'm Sergeant Marco Camiso.